Welcome to the channel guys, this video is for college and sixth form students studying level 3 BTEC IT. In this video we're going to talk about different types of files for your unit 1 IT exams. Towards the end of the video we'll go over an example question you might be asked in your exam. I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip to that part of the video. In your exam you might be asked about the implications of using certain types of files. So you need to know what factors might influence a person's choice. The first issue is compatibility. This can be an issue to talk about because some files don't work with certain types of software. Another factor that might influence your choice of file type is the quality of the file type. So this might be an issue for photographers and videographers. And then a third implication you can talk about is the size of the file. The type of file will depend on the person that we're asked about. So a photographer will need a different type of file compared to a person who's trying to save a database. So the photographer might focus on quality, whereas the person saving the database might focus on compatibility. There are different types of files that a person might use for images. JPG is for JPEGs, which has very good compression, but the problem is the compression cannot be reversed. GIFs are good because they have a small file size, so this means it won't take a lot of storage on your computer, but they have a limited amount of colours, so the quality of the image won't be the best. BMP files are uncompressed, so the quality is really good, but one of the issues is that the files are really big, so it will take a lot of storage on your device. PNG has really good compression. Lossless means that the compression can be reversed. The images also have a high resolution and the compression does not affect the resolution of the picture. They also have a low file size. These types of files might be used for videos and movies. The first one we're going to talk about is AVI, which is uncompressed and allows for high quality videos. But an issue is that the file sizes are large because they can't be compressed. The next one is MOV, which allows for high quality videos and is compressible. This is good for streaming videos and movies. The next one is MP4, which allows for high quality videos and is compressible. This means that the file types might be smaller. Another benefit of using MP4 file types is that it's highly compatible with different types of devices. And the last one is MKV, which allows for high quality video but isn't supported by all devices. For example, an iPod. MKV file types cannot be used on iPods. The file types on the screen are used for applications and software. DOC is usually used for documents from word processing software. The next one is a PDF which is a copy of data independent from the original software. So an example of this could be your CV. The next one is a PPT which is usually used for PowerPoint slides. And the last two file types are commonly used for database softwares. So in Unit 2 you might have seen MDB, because it's used for Microsoft Access. In this section of the video we're going to go over an example question that you might get on file types. So the question tells us that the user wants to advertise his wedding photography business and he wants to know what file types he should use for his photographs. Explain the benefits of using two different file types for displaying his image. So the first one we can talk about is BMP because the format allows for extremely high resolution pictures and it means that he can present his work in the best light. The next one we can talk about is PNG. This is because the file type will allow him to take high resolution pictures but he can also compress the files without altering the quality so you can say that it won't take too much storage on his device. 